Hey guys, welcome back to Visual Scriptures. I hope you've been well. Um, it's been a while, but hopefully this video will explain why there's been an absence of videos. Now this video has been posted in conjunction with another video, a film, a short film, um, titled Letting Go. Um, now if you haven't seen Letting Go yet, I would suggest pausing this video and watching that um, because this video is going to be breaking down the meaning and the inspiration behind um, Letting Go. You can find the link to it down in the description below. So I've been going through quite a difficult time uh, recently. As some of you uh, may know, I am studying a Bachelor of Laws and a Bachelor of Government and International Relations at university. I'm in my fifth year and I will be graduating in a few months at the time of recording this. However, at the same time, I've recently started a new job, um, a full-time job at a law firm. Now, this is my first um, proper job at a law firm. And so that means I have been learning lots and lots and my brain's just buzzing all the time, learning all this, um, all this new information and how to do certain things. I also have to travel about an hour each way to get to work. Um, I go on train and I start work at 7.30. So that means I have to wake up really, really early. At the same time, I am also studying um, a course at university on the weekends. So what this all means is that I have very little time to just relax, unwind and do the things that I love to do, such as making videos. Making this video for instance, involves me having to record straight after work. I haven't had dinner, it's currently um, quarter to eight, and yeah, I'm sitting here recording because I don't know when else I'm supposed to record. Letting Go was also filmed on my lunch breaks. I had my camera with me in Brisbane, um, Brisbane, Australia, for those who aren't local. Um, <laughs> I had my camera with me and I just filmed on my lunch breaks and I also filmed a little bit on the weekends. And so together with work and study, I have found myself very, very overwhelmed and stressed. Stressed about what I have to do at work and what I have to do with my study and also stressed about the future. However, I realized that the root and cause of um, this stress was the fact that I had taken control of my life and um, taken control away from God. And I started seeing things through my own eyes. I started trying to understand and figure things out on my own instead of letting God handle things. I was also so busy that I had um, left very little time for God. Spending time with God and His Word became simply another thing I had to um, tick off my to-do list instead of something I actually actively wanted to engage in. Reading His Word was something I just had to do before work and before bed. And so I would read it and then just close the book, the Bible, and just forget almost what I had just read. And so without spending time with God and without hearing his voice, life just got overwhelming. Now I learned a few things um, that helped me out. I had to make a conscious decision to engage and spend time with God. Now this was not easy um, because of the reasons that I've mentioned. I was so busy, I was stressed, so I didn't really um, want to take time away from study or doing something else um, to read God's Word. But I had to learn to just seek God and rely on Him rather than myself. And this took me about three or four months to grasp and I still am grasping it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's difficult. I had to learn to let go of um, the future and what was not in my control. I had to learn to focus on what I could do and that was my best. And like a tree in drought, I had to sink my roots deeper and deeper into God's word so that I could remain strong and alive. 
There were a few Bible stories that helped me out. Um, there was the story of Joseph. Now Joseph, in Genesis we read, he had a really difficult life. He had his ups and his downs. He had a big family, but that was taken away from him when his brothers sold him into slavery. He, despite being in slavery, he became um, the head of Potiphar's household before being thrown into prison due to false accusations. And then again, later on, he became second in charge of all of Egypt. And through it all, he maintained his faith. And he later said to his brothers that despite what they had planned, despite the, the bad they had planned for him, God turned it around for good to bring about um, the fulfillment of his purpose to save the surrounding nations in Egypt from famine. And in the book of Esther, God isn't mentioned once. In fact, it's easy to read Esther as just a simple story of a series of coincidences with no involvement um, by God. But in fact, there are no coincidences in life. And by interpreting Esther this way, you would be overlooking its main message, I believe, which is the fact that even though God may not may not look present um, in history anymore or in our lives, He 100% is. He is. He's got everything in His control, and He He is watching out for us. He is bringing about His purpose. And so I learned that all I can do every day is simply do the best I can. And I shouldn't worry about the future. I shouldn't worry about things just out of my control. I just wake up in the morning, go to work, do what I can at work, do what I can with study, and that's it. God will take care of the rest. And God is preparing me for what lies ahead. That's what he does. He takes the season that you are in and he uses it to teach you valuable lessons, to prepare you, to give you skills that you need for whatever lies ahead. So yeah, that's the story behind um, Letting Go. Hopefully as you watch it, you'll understand why I filmed it the way I did and what I was trying to communicate. Um, now also Letting Go was filmed in such a way that you're supposed to be able to just watch it and have your own interpretation of what it means for it to speak to you in its own way. So yeah, if you have any other views of um, what Letting Go is about, please share them down below. But anyway, yeah, I hope um, this video helps and it makes sense. This is a slightly different video than what I normally make, but um, I just hope that it helps you in some way, either now or in the future. And as always, please share this video with people that you think may need it. Let's help each other out. Let's be there for one another. Um, and let's make life a little bit easier. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.